All right. So my mic might be a little extra loud because I'm wearing the lav because I don't really want to talk that loud. It's much wildlife out. I saw a little rabbit this morning. I saw a little rabbit last night too. So when I'm squirrels over there too. So when I set this up, I'm going to have to uh, buy some chicken wire and put it down here probably. Hi, Cameron. Because they, they're clearly digging. I don't know. I don't know if you can see those holes. Doing little burrowing stuff, which is fine. That's what wildlife is for. It's to do wildlife things. But, hey, fishing. Hope you're doing well. We are going to have an unboxing today. I carry two knives on me. One is my Leatherman. Actually, I carry three knives on me most of the time. One of them is my little lighter sleeve multi-tool, and it's really shitty and only good for as a letter opener or like, I don't know, sometimes sometimes it's handy to have it. Um, I use the little screwdriver on it more and the bottle opener on the bottom. And then this one, which is what I open everything with because it's on my belt. And then this one, the Ontario Rat 2, because it was the cheapest knife that I could afford that um, was sturdy enough to baton uh, and like split wood or whatever if necessary. So this is like a, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks if that. Might be like 17 I don't remember how much I paid for it. It was definitely not like a $50 knife. I wasn't willing to pay that much. Um, but that's my knife for if I get fucking stranded and I need to make a fire or something and I'm cold. Because, um, as crazy as it may seem, I've been stranded like 40 miles from home before and it really fucking sucks. Sometimes you want to go make a fire for like fucking 30 minutes because you know it's going to take you four hours plus to get home. And there's no McDonald's open anymore. I don't think I said what this was that I'm opening, but it is a raised garden bed. So this is, it averages out to 100 gallons when you do like 2 by 4 by 4 or two by two by four. It's not, I don't think it's quite a hundred gallons. I think it's a little less than that because it's ovular. Um, but I'm going to buy a, um, I'll have to draw you, draw you guys an image later. I'm going to buy hmm. fasteners. Let's see. A driver. Is this the driver? It looks like a pen to me. Bonus. Plant labels and pen. Cool. Um, so 150 gallon grow bag is um, which are made out of like a polyester felt or something like that. Uh, I could make my own custom one, but hey, Dr. A, how are you doing? Dr. Mazarol? The illustrious. So this is this is our unboxing for bingo purposes. Oh, it's Deb's birthday. Happy birthday, Deb. Hope you're doing well. I don't remember seeing these. So I hope. I guess I could read the instructions. But you'll like this, Kelly. So I'm going to I'm going to set up ovular grow bed. I'm going to put a grow bag inside of it so that I can keep all my dirt separate and like not have any and I'm going to have chicken cloth on the bottom, chicken cloth. That's hilarious. Hardware cloth or chicken wire, chicken cloth. Poultry netting. Um, you know, keep burrowing critters out. And then I'm going to put a 27 gallon 
or if I can, I'm going to have to measure. I might be able to fit a bigger bin because they have a 40 gallon um, HDX tote at like Home Depot. And I'm going to put that in the inside the dirt. So the soil is going to um, insulate my little tub pond. And that's, that's the plan. But you'll, that seemed like it would be up your alley. All right, we got Rachel's in here. Linda's in here. Welcome. Hope you guys are doing well. All right. I need to go find an Allen key because I don't see one in any of this. So. I'm going to set you guys down for a moment. Dividing water lilies next week. Hopefully that wasn't too rough with the laugh. I walked inside and the first thing that I noticed was that I never made my drink earlier. It's a good thing I forgot the Allen key. I don't know how much of this I've shown you guys before. But, oh, sorry. Drop the mic. It's like a whole little wetlands. Or, and maybe some curly rush. Up this chesty. Oh, I'm off data or I'm off the Wi Fi. I walked too far away. Allen keys acquired. I'm gonna mess with these straps a little bit. Hey Rainer. Hope you're doing well. Remember when I said I was going to read the instructions? Think how far that got. So where's my Allen key? Allen key acquired. All right. 
If you don't have one of these little like bike multi tools, they're real handy to have around. They're not as good as like a dedicated Allen key thing, I don't think. But they come in every single like flat repair kit, and like they're not good enough to keep on your bike. Yep. Sick again. All right. Oh, I guess I need the handle. Allen key got. These little kits, these little kits are really hit or miss. Some of them are garbage. Some of them are good. A lot of them have like plastic grippers um, for your bit, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. All right. Let's begin with the round panels. Screw the screws. Do you leave it clockwise motion? Oh shit, I gotta know my lefts and rights. You guys better correct me on this one. I didn't break nothing. So we were actually talking about this, McDally. It was too late when you sent me uh you were like, oh, use the lid. That's okay because I'm gonna use the the soil will act as an insulator anyways. But I have been planning this for a hot minute. I have a raised bed that's coming and I'm going to put one of those totes inside of the bed. So I'm going to have dirt all around it because the raised, this raised bed is four by two by two. Um, if that makes sense four long, too high, too wide. Did it say which direction was up? Do the tabs point downward? Kind of looks like the tabs point down. Cool. All right. God. That's going to be a lot of waste. It could easily be blown around by the wind. I hope this isn't too loud, the lav and this clanging. I only have StreamYard's um, like audio canceling stuff going right now. Because the mic's connected to my phone, not OBS, unfortunately. So I can't do... I don't know how. I'm sure there's a way. Mobile devices are pretty advanced. I'm sure there's a way for me to like set up a noise gate on my cell. Two new brain cordial. Oh, two. Two Bestamusa and one Recordea, Florida. First coral from USA Waters. Congrats, Rainer. Uh, I bet you guys can count that. I, I almost guarantee you I mispronounced those uh, scientific names. Homer, throw some more scientific names at me. I'll mispronounce them for bingo purposes. Homer the Clown Trigger. The, his fish has taken over his channel, in case you guys didn't know. Back to relaxing. Have a good one, Vibes. Thank you for hanging out with us for a bit. Hope you feel better. All right. So, how many holes are on this? I'm stupid. They give me 
This handy dandy. Oh, what the fuck did that come from? Set that down. Um, they give me this handy dandy little tray. I'm sitting here. Oh, there's the Allen key. All right. Hey, Alex. Where is that one? Excuse me. They mailed me swarf. You guys know that word? Swarf? Some of you guys do. I bet I bet Alex knew the word swarf. Jorge seems like the kind of guy that, guy that would know a word for it, but it wouldn't be swarf. It'd be like some military word. That's the word I was taught is the name for uh, weird, this like curly Q machining metal that comes out of like threading taps and stuff. Was fine. Oh, oh, when I was clanging around. Yeah, thank you, Rainer. Appreciate it. Pick up all these little bits of plastic. So they don't blow away. Yeah. Just two. Three. Okay. Clang, clang. I don't know, Kelly. I'm not offended or anything. You've been around. I know you were here for one of my biking streams one time. And I was like, this, I think it was the one that I was testing this, the different lav on. And, um, oh, I need to screw it in before I, all right. Yeah, Rainer. So this is a raised garden bed, and I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put, uh, like a a plastic bin, a 27 gallon or possibly 40 if I can fit it. I'm gonna have to measure where everything lines up, cause like knowing it's two feet by four foot in an oval doesn't tell me how big of a rectangle I can fit inside of that oval. Um, so if I can squeeze 40 gallons in, like, why not, you know? Um, but the point is to have it be sort of insulated by all the soil. in the garden bed and it's also going to do me the handy dandy task of um i'm not using pond liner i'm gonna put dirt in for, i'm gonna it's um i don't know the words for what i'm saying Oh, here we go. I'm flipped upside down for you guys now. Oh, 
I'll have to like go show you guys my Amazon card or something. Oh, but it's going to give me the handy dandy task of stabilizing this bird feeder as well. Why won't it fit? Am I being stupid? How many brain cells do I have right now? Okay. That worked. I don't know why it didn't. I wish I had it misaligned. <laughs> I hope that's not dizzying for you guys when it flips around like that. I should probably turn Wi-Fi off on this phone and just use data while I'm out here, even though that's like, means my quality is going to be worse. You guys can see me from this camera. This is to go in a counterclockwise motion. Sorry, I'm re I'm fuck I'm turning reading the, the instructions because I'm looking at this reinforcement thing. I specifically bought this one 
because it didn't show this in the image and it showed and there was a video of a lady showing it without that so i may omit one of those and like just i don't know maybe i can do it on the very top put it over the top of the bin and pond we'll see All right, I'm back. Um, what I was saying, <clears throat> audible cough for bingo purposes. Um, what I was saying is that the reason it's having me go counterclockwise is that there's only flanges on one side. So if I get, if I get around to the other side and I'm adding the like receiving end, um, and I'm having to pick up the whole garden, but that's a pain in the ass and it's gonna be really hard for me to do compared to just slotting in one panel's worth of weight. That's what I was trying to figure out is I was like, if, if I understand the why, then I'll know when I'm making a mistake. Just tells me counterclockwise and my brain's like, no, I'll go the other direction. I can do it. So I had to figure out why it was telling, like, is it easier? Yes. Okay. Be smart. Follow the directions. Mm, actually, we're going to make you left-handed now. Because you have to go counterclockwise. And you don't want to turn around. You'd rather, you're totally chill with having the camera point at your crotch. But you're not chill with bending over for that camera. I know, you freaks. I seen what you did to E. I seen what you did to George RB3. Rico has a rag for a reason. Hey, Sonny. Hope you're doing well. Oh. But yeah, uh, Rainer, I'm going to put, so this is nominally four feet. Uh, so I'm going to get a 150 gallon grow bag that is like right around just that, that four foot mark, uh, but it'll be a circle. So I'll have a lot of extra material on the sides to bunch in 
and stuff, but that's okay. Like, it, it it's better than um, me having to sew my own or something. I could do it. You can get the material. It's not it's not even that expensive. I just like I don't have access to a sewing machine right now. I'd have to like go hassle my fiance's mom for the sewing machine that like supposedly we bought at a um well, not supposedly we bought this at a garage sale but her sewing machine is like big or old or a pain in the ass to rethread or something i don't know she doesn't like to pull her sewing machine out and she would much rather borrow hours for months at a time which is fine i don't use a sewing machine that often i'm not like bitching um it's it's a thing like we share we share things that's fine um but i'm not, also not going to go hassle her for a sewing machine over like a project like this where i can spend twenty dollars thirty dollars and get a bag that will work <laughs> and and then it's less work for me too i'm not gonna go hassle somebody so that i can work harder That doesn't sound like a grand old time to me. I hope that made sense. But yeah, I'm going to put a grow bag in here. And probably cinder blocks to support the um, bottom of the tote that I'm going to use. Beyonce's mom. Yeah, dude, that was... Goals. All right. But yeah, I don't trust this necessarily to support the weight of a pond um, when it comes to like the side bearing thing, but I do trust the soil and the water to counteract any like bowing from the bin. Um, and then the soil is going to act as an awesome insulator. So, like, what's not, where am I going? What's not to like? Three of those. Three of these. Lang a lang. Oh, damn it. Oh, I believe that the metal can do it. Um, uh, I don't believe that this $70 um, grow bed that I got on Amazon can do it because it's made out of all these little tiny panels. And I think that that's maybe not the strongest way. Like if, if you took one sheet and, and wrapped it around and then braced the, I think you could make, yeah, like obviously that would be significantly stronger. Got to put it together kind of like a zipper. And these curvy pieces do not want to go into the straight ones.
I'm trying to get those to point a little bit straighter. They're like they were super crooked because they weren't punched out good enough, and I'm not about to like make the cut better. All right, that's a little better. Some of these holes aren't lining up perfectly. So I'm going to screw them in. Because they're lining up good enough. It was just like I couldn't easily push it through with my finger. Oh, the other big one, Rainer, is... um. I recently, I was going to buy 100 gallon stock toes, so I didn't have to deal with any other shit, and this was just going to be a shell on the outside, uh, but I was looking at our lease agreement, and it appears that I'm technically only allowed to have 5 gallon aquariums. I might be able to pretend that a 27 gallon tote pond in my garden bed is and like a if there's a garden bed around it it's oh no that's my garden bed and that's just like a watering system or a bird bath or whatever whatever right i can pretend i can't pretend if it's just a, if it's just a big pond out here that's a hundred gallons if um i'm not worried because management like they've been in and they've seen my tanks and they like them and whatever else but I'm also not about to like set myself up for somebody to complain about like what they perceive to be a mosquito risk or something. Right. Because that's all they need to do is like complain about something. And then, and then like fucking all of a sudden now I'm not allowed to have any tanks because they had to crack down on it. Um, Yeah, rainwater storage is. Yeah, I don't. Know. I'm not. I'm not about to. Oh, the other thing is, like, if I do it in the garden bed, I might be able to keep it a year-round pond, because I can put a hoop, a hoop bed over the top. Hoop. What are those? Hoop house. That's what I'm thinking of. Like a little greenhouse thing. You don't have dirt to stab it into, and it'll be easy peasy. Um, doing that out here. Hey, Hobbs. They're too cute. I'm just more worried about it freezing. 
Um, but yeah, exactly. I'd have to choose the right fish for my climate in this case. The Neos will probably die. I was going to buy a bunch of Neocaridina and try to breed them out in it. Sell them at the end or give them away at the end of the year. Not end of the year, end of the summer. Uh, but yeah, they probably won't hold up outside over the winter. Um, because it gets below freezing consistently at nights for like over a month usually. Um, but we get snow like once or twice a year. Not a ton, but enough that like a 27 gallon pond would probably freeze if it was just on its own out here for sure. Curved piece, that's what I'm looking for. <clears throat> That's what she said. You could call it that. Yeah, I've had... It depends on what I do. I'm probably going to throw Daniels out here first because I have them. Um, but I was looking at buying either Madaka rice fish or I could show you guys... The, so the problem is that, like, like, Madaka rice fish would be a good option. I love fathead minnows. <laughs> like, the feeder minnows. I know that's kind of goofy, but feeder minnows and zebra fish are some of my favorite fish. Um, and that's not just because I have, like, a soft spot for them in my heart. They're just also, like, um, I don't know the right word for it. They're really interesting, behavior-wise. Uh, specifically, fathead minnows. They're... Um, Like, I know every fish has interesting, complex breeding behaviors, if you really, like, look into it. But you'd be surprised at how good these feeder minnows are at taking care of their fry and their eggs. And they are kind of like little North American cichlids in, in their own way. Um, they find or make a little cave in mud, or, like, a lot of times in the wild, you'll see them. There will be, like, a stick. I've got sticks. I can demonstrate better. Imagine a thicker stick, but a stick like this that is sort of curved. And it's buried semi beneath the bed. So there's like, they'll dig out a pit underneath of it, and then they'll lay their eggs in here, and the male will like hover. And they make kind of cute little clicking sounds and stuff. But the fathead minnows, I don't know, the rosy reds are disease riddled and everything else but the problem like because they're feeder minnows not because there's any problems with them but you know feeder fish are generally not the healthiest for reasons um damn it i don't see where that one went I missed some little tears of the fucking whatever. That looks perfectly straight. Problem here is the receiving. Thank you. 
Oh, I'm being stupid and doing it backwards. One of the problems is that I'm not assembling this on flat ground. I should really be assembling this on the concrete over there. Um, but I'm putting it where I want it to be, knowing that I'm going to then, like, come over here with a shovel at some point. I don't think I own a shovel right now. Well, that's not true. I own, like, prowls. I got a folding shovel for when I camp so I can dig a hole. Because if you don't dig a hole when you shit, um, like, or take it with you, right? That's best case. Take it with you. Um, nobody's doing water changes in the forest. If you're bringing, if you're bringing nutrients in, somebody needs to do some nutrient export, right? Uh, but if you're not digging a hole, then like, first off, fuck you. Leave no trace. Leave as, as little trace as you can. And second, um... Nasty. What is wrong with you? Somebody else might want to camp here, and now there's human shit. I, I can't expect a bear to have the etiquette to dig a hole for itself. You motherfuckers, though? Dig a fucking hole. Nutrient export in the forest. Some rosy reds for about four years now. Persistent oxygenation of the eggs. Yeah, exactly, Sonny. They've got these little... Um, they've got these glands on their... They're called fathead minnows for a reason, right? And they've got these glands on their forehead that uh, exude antifungal um, something something. I don't remember what it is exactly. Where did I lose my little screwdriver at? It's red. I should be able to see it. That was fun. Does a bear shit in the woods? You can fill this new planter with shit. Exactly. I probably am. That's one of the things I'm going to buy for it. Steer manure. Looks I don't have a truck. I mean, it doesn't suck. I don't need a truck, but on a couple occasions, it would be nice to have access, better access to a trailer and not be like borrowing. My dad would take me out. I just like, I don't want to fucking go fill his utility trailer up with like shit and then um, like not that much. And then have to move all that shit from the parking lot up there. Okay. Hey, Steven.
must suck to have meetings in the morning that uh, interfere with your ability to play bingo. But I believe by your words, if you suspect something happened earlier in the stream and you go back while the stream is still live, it counts. I believe that that's what you said. So you can still get your bingo. Because, yeah, we got plenty of horse farms around here that would gladly give you aged, composted horse, etc. Whatever it is that I'm trying to get a hold of. But I don't want a whole trailer full. I don't want a tractor full or tractor like bucket full. That's not a small amount when we're talking about this is what I have to fill. Oh, fuck. That was stupid. Why did I do that to myself? All right. the whole go. I hope you guys are enjoying this thrilling camera work. I have no clue what that looked like. It was probably just... Uh, yes, it is. It is, Stephen. In fact... So I'll go over my little plan here one more time as I... Let me just cheat. Wow. That was so fast and effective. They only gave me one extra screw. That's like... They got pretty high expectations. They only gave me one extra screw. One extra screw, but two extra nuts. That's like poetic. Oh, fuck. I hit the button.
Oh, I didn't. You know, oh no, the screws for the braces use the same screws as the spots. Thank you for pointing out the braces, though. I totally forgot about that. Though that might be a step that comes later. See, this is why I got chat. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is, like, it's one thing if you're expecting this to be assembled in a warehouse or something. Um, because I've done those assembly jobs, right? Where you, like, put bikes or um, barbecues together and stuff. And, like, sometimes that's the case. But, um... What did I press? Oh no, what RC is live. Boom. Yeah, so we got the braces. Um I'll put one of those in. Or should, should we do two? Because, I don't know, that's kind of ugly. What if I do the braces out here? Do you think it will work good? They're supposed to go in the center, but I don't, I want to put pond in the center. Hey Rico. Hope you're doing well. Um, what am I doing in here? I need a measuring tape. Where did I put it? Probably one in the fish room too. All right.
All right. Sorry. Um, you guys didn't want to hear me dump everything out of this box anyways. So chances are this is all I'll be able to fit reasonably. Yeah. If I had a deeper But that honestly looks like it's going to be perfect. Um, I could theoretically, yeah, it's like 40, because this is 40, it's not even 48 inches across. This is 46, 46 and a half. Um, so it's not even four feet. And the one that I was, the, the other one that I wanted to put was like um, 43 inches or something like that. And I was like, if it's actually four feet, it might fit. It won't. No fucking way. All right. right. I wish I had a way to lock my phone as a um, side angle. Well, I might be able to actually. Let me see. See how that goes. Is that better? Yeah, now I can twist an angle. Okay, I'm just stupid. No news here, just being stupid. I also need to buy like some sort of trellis, I think. I might only do one side or like, cause I don't want to block the cat's view. Maybe I should move the whole thing over a little bit. Hey, red laser. Sonny, you should look into um, hybrids with the zebra danios. There's a whole bunch of other danio species that can hybridize with them. Um, and like, yeah, unfortunately, the zebra danio lines that are available in the U.S. right now, or at least the ones I'm aware of, are not. Damn, that sucks. The ones that I have access to are not very high quality. More like hot garbage, but um, I'm pretty sure if you mix Chopra and Zebra or Kyathit and Zebra, you can get some really cool, like Kyathit and Zebra, you'll end up with basically just a long fin, a little bit more orange and kind of leopard patterning, um, which is basically what a Kyathit is already. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of different Danio species that can hybridize with them. And yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm not anti-hybridization when it comes to fish like, 
like if it's a difficult to get a hold of fish, sure. But like if you're just trying to make it so that your zebra danios have a little bit more color to them and don't um don't aren't warped wonders. So it's an option. Um, if you're careful, I think CPD and Tin Winnie can breed with them as well. Might not be CPDs. It might just be um, Dwarf Emerald Rasbora, which is different from Celestial Pearl Rasbora, if I remember right. The, the Dwarf Emerald is an actual Danio, and the, the Celestial Pearl is the is a Rasbora not a Danio, but it says it's a Danio. Flower horn hybrids, yeah. Those that's a whole nother conversation is cichlid hybridization. So yeah, I'm gonna put cinder blocks underneath of this. Obviously, it's not gonna just rest on that, but like yes, Stephen P. You wanted to know if this was a DIY project. This is going to be my pond, and this is going to be my garden bed. And it's going to insulate the whole pond. So I'm pretty fucking stoked about that, to be honest. That took me longer than I anticipated. Probably because I kept wandering around just talking about shit. Everybody online was like, it only took me 30 minutes to set up, and then it took me another 45 to get the rubber thing on it. And I'm like, great. So, let's hide that over here, I think. So, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm thinking about doing Danios or Madaka rice fish in this instead of... I would love to do the Fathead Minnows because I know that they'd be able to live in, out here year-round um, and I'd be able to... like. It's not going to be hard to build a hoop house or something. Or like... Yeah. Tin Win Eyes on the list. Do you have Chopra yet? Because they're gorgeous, dude. I know Foxy and Peplin have them. And... Well, if you want Tin Winnie... Find somebody near you who's willing to do a group buy from Dan's Fish. Because they're like 50, the Tin Win I are like 15 bucks a pop right now, which is not cheap, but he has them in stock. And then the Chopra Danio are uh, like seven or eight bucks a pop, I think, which is not, that's not Zebra Danio prices, but that's not bad, especially from Dan. And then if you do a group buy with somebody else and you guys can fill up, a large or medium box, like I could fill up a medium box with just Danios, like just the the like three species of Danios he has that I want right now. Uh, he has Fireline too, I think, and I'm not, I don't know if those can hybridize or not, and it's that's kind of upsetting. Why did this take people so long? What was their problem? All right. Probably hit, hit that with a heat gun or something and make it a little smoother. Yeah, I had like, so that's, sorry, I keep like trying to say this. Um, I'd love to do the fathead minnows. However, fathead minnows are uh, generally bottom dwelling. They'll swim up to the top water, but they're going to compete. They're going to eat the shrimp. Madaka rice fish 
from what I understand, are relatively top dwelling fish. They're not like they'll go down to the bottom and everything, but they're more likely to um, behave how you want to, you know, with, um, you know what I'm trying to say. They're not going to fuck with the shrimp as much, I don't think, because they're not bottom dwelling. And the shrimp are bottom dwelling. Yeah, that both took longer than expected and less time than expected. You see that cat? She stared at me. Oh, I did that wrong. It was saying do top and bottom the whole way around and then and then do the middle screws. It even has like instructions for how to fill your garden bed. That's kind of cool. Wow. Look at that, Rainer. We're talking about Hugo culture. It's mainstream now. It's even in some random plant and plot. I, I've never heard of this brand. I'm. I was under the assumption I bought like YKZUI or something like that. You've never seen the Daka eat shrimp, or you've never seen the minnows eat shrimp. Let's go. Let me bring some stuff in really quick and then. I don't know what happened. It's got to be in one of my pockets. Yeah, there it is. Back pocket. I lost one of my Allen drivers earlier. And I. Yeah, it was in my back pocket. As per usual.
Audio check. Oh, there's something, some sound, some sound. Hey, Zen. Hope you can hear me. I'm going to like check on YouTube because I can't. Audio good. Okay. Hey, Gabriel. Hope you're doing well. Cool. I hope that wasn't. All right. So all I did was plug in a different mic, and, and now that's up on. It's in here. It's attached to a light. Um, oh, forgot that was spring loaded. We got that mic clipped up there. So, pretty much the only other thing, oh, I'm sure it could be better, Gabriel. I could have, I have a wireless one that I could have plugged into me, but I don't want to deal with it right now because I'm not going to be live for that much longer. Uh, mostly because I've made a lot of mess that I need to clean up before I leave for work today. But only other major thing I would say that... we can talk about, or I can give like, I mean, we can talk about whatever we want, but the only other thing I have to talk about is this guy. Oh, knocking shit over, it's okay. This one is getting auctioned off on Skipper's channel on Saturday, I believe, the 20th. So, if anybody has been eyeing Let's see, what can I do lighting wise? What could be better? Do this and introduce glare on the tank behind it, but should help a little when I hold stuff up. This baby views, where are we? This baby views is really happy. I need, it's like making me dizzy. There we go. Because I'm looking at it and it's all revert that I hate that. So we got use that's doing pretty well. It's not that attached to the wood anymore because I keep pulling it off, but it's got hella roots. It's got baby leaves. We've got Java fern, Wendelaw, a few different species of moths, two other use stems that are doing medium well. Have a good day, Gabriel. Thanks for stopping by. The moss is doing really happy. So this is being auctioned off on during Skipper's auction. Um, the, what is it? Annual Aquarist's auction or, or whatever. And... Ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, I said minimum starting bid of $25. So if you are interested, make sure to tune in. Um, let me hunt down that link. So we can drop it. Share, copy. 
And I know, like, for example, we were talking about CPVs earlier. Somebody who I saw, um, what are some other words we can say? African cichlid, rasbora, 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 um, snails, algae. Um, what? One of the... Um, KGE is going to have CPDs in the auction. That's Those are the words I'm thinking of or trying to find. But yeah, um, I don't know, dude. If this funky looking log is appealing in any way, shape, or form, consider it. Um, that's going to be... April 20th at 5 p.m. Pacific. I don't know what time it's going to be for you guys. But yeah, consider it. Um, in other news, I guess we could like... Well, let me shove this back in here and, and knock stuff over again. ka thunk ka -thunk -ka. I'm going to cover this up because that's the easiest way for me to. Oh, you guys couldn't see any of, or you couldn't hear any of what I was saying because the microphone was in here. Um, so, yeah, I was really just talking about the different logs uh, that those are all logs that are soaking. And then I was, I was complaining that the one that I really like is not, uh, it's not soaked through all the way, so I can't like start putting plants on it yet. Uh, but, and then I found it on the side of the road. There was like a guy who had, what do you call it? Like he'd had tree work done or something, or a tree had fallen in the snowstorm and he had a bunch of stuff um, piled up, a bunch of weird little root 
shots and things like that that were like I, I picked some of my favorite pieces out of it on my way to where I was going. Um, Zen says, what all is on the log? Is that all moss or some other epiphytic plants? So I have uh, mystery views. I believe there's three stems on this log and two solid like chunks of, or rhizomes. I guess that's not a stem for views, but you know what I mean? Little, little, like little chunks. Um, that still have like leaves, even if they're not happy leaves. Two of them don't have happy leaves. One of them is doing really well. Um, then two Java Fern Wendelov. This is Java Wendelov, and that's Java Wendelov in the corner. There they There. Java Wendelov, and then behind it, there is some views that you can't really see. And then there's abuse that's not happy. And there's another abuse that's not happy. They're not like that unhappy, but I just, I think the water is too hot for them in there with the mister. Um, this abuse is really happy. Look at this one, dude. Wham, look at those. Like, those are some robusto leaves of this views not happy, I think, because it's getting dripped on by the hot water or something. Java wind love. But yeah. That's the one that's getting auctioned. So just for posterity, views. Well, so it doesn't, it doesn't convert to its own. It doesn't convert to, cause so the theory is that this washer tang is, um, the theory is that it's the aquatic gametophyte of a terrestrial fern, right? Because that's what the genome sequence is out to. But we've never gotten it to transition from its aquatic phase to a full adult. Cause like a gametophyte is like, okay, I'm gonna fucking make myself sound stupid here. Cause I was like, <laughs> my brain says gametophyte is the is like the larval form, <laughs> but it's not a fucking animal. They don't have larva. In the life cycle of plants with alternating generations, the gamete producing and usually haploid phase producing the zygote from which the sporophyte arises. It is the dominant form in bryophytes. So saying it's the larval form is incorrect because it's not one plant transitioning to the adult phase, right? Which is like what it would be with an animal. It would be transitioning uh, from larval to like adult or juvenile or whatever. Uh, gametophyte is a sexual phase in the life cycle of plants and algae. So... Like, 
a spore goes out and it produces a plant in the aqua that lives in the water. And then that plant produces a spore or a uh, seed that lives on land and it goes back and forth, but it's not, it's not like plant puberty because it's generation by generation. And they look like, they like look like different plants because it's, it's, um, it's an evolutionary, I don't know how to fucking, if Kelly's still listening, she's like shaking her head. This is the stuff that um, Lily was asking about in um, What Your Plants a few weeks ago. What's the difference between meiosis and mitosis? Mutation? No, it's not mutation. So mutation would continue on. Um, this might be a way to in, induce mutation or in or like um, like as an alternative to mutation, it might be a way to save genetic diversity from generation to generation. If you have multiple you have multiple generations where one is saving the gene like the the genes that might get uh say there's like a forest fire and it kills off the majority of the terrestrial life cycle of a plant um but the reason it's generations is because it requires sex to switch from like it's a sexual reproduction thing it's it's not just like the plant is switching from its aquatic leaf to its um terrestrial leaf and it's not always aquatic to terrestrial sometimes it's aquatic to, to aquatic but what's happening is it's it's breeding right the, the plant is doing a thing and then it has another the kind of plant that is produced out of that produces a different kind of of um because they produce asexual spores so it's not sex. And that's also a mistake that I've like, I said, it requires sex. It's not sex. It requires asexual reproduction. And this is a way to maintain like genetic diversity while doing asexual reproduction or something like, or that's the theory, right? But we've never gotten Siswashertang to do, to produce the sporophyte that it needs to. So gametophytes are haploid and sporophytes are diploid. But, well, uh, sort of, I mean, like, it, it is kind of like chicken and the egg, but it's also, um, it's, it's, it's kind of like the chicken and the egg, but it's it's like we know it's supposed to be Liliopsis. And every other, because Suswapatang is a Liliopsis lineopsis, right? Um, here, let me present it before I start typing. You guys can even see. Oh, if I had that on there the whole time, I never clicked save. Sorry. Um, I don't remember how to spell the rest of that. It'll figure it out. Huh. I'm typing the wrong thing. Suspy Baca. Did you guys see that? That's fucking hilarious.
Low Maryopsis. So, if you do that and you get rid of the specific one and you just look at Lineata species, oh, maybe I need, maybe I need the other way. No. Nope. Why do you, I need to change all of my settings because this is so frustrating that it just opens a new tab every time I do anything. So Lineopsis ferns or Lineata ferns look like a whole different thing. And supposedly, hey Dylan, hope you're doing well. But supposedly those um that that's what family Oh, that's just what I was like, what do they got going on in there? These weird epiphytic ferns. Yeah, so the theory is that this is Suswasserton, and it does look like Suswasserton. It also looks very similar to, like, I don't know if you guys saw the liverwort that was outside, but that's one of the other things people have thought it is for a long time is liverwort. What's wrong, baby? Why are you yelling? Come here. Come here. You probably need to feed them. Glad you're doing well, dude. It's been a minute. Uh, that depends on which... Zen. That depends on which... Uh... make this big for just a second gamito fight because i was reading on here i don't mean that baked apple and then this says we can turn this off now five tabs four tabs 47 tabs six tabs six tabs six tabs so it depends on what It is like, you know how many tabs I have? What do you mean this page isn't working? For like the research I've been doing for brackish systems? Yeah, she's screaming out there. Are you like, we got you fixed, but you sound like you're in heat. Maybe she's hungry. Did I feed you today? We all need to do that sometimes, dude. Like, look at this fucking... Let me pull up my stat. All right. Jeff showed me this the other day. Did you know that when you're, like, over here and it's like, oh, what's all your stuff? You can scroll down to the bottom and it'll be like, watch history. And whoop, what did I click? And then it's like five hours and 33 minute daily average. Um, I'm down 32% from last week. Last seven days, 40 hours, almost 40 hours. I spend too much fucking time on YouTube. If you guys, like, aren't aware that you can do that, I, no, am I about to click those tools to manage your time? No. 
Nah, uh I'm also not gonna have autoplay on. Fuck that noise. I'm gonna click it manually. But no, I, I'm not gonna let the computer tell me not how to manage my time, and I'm also uh, not going to manage my time. Apparently, that's been that's been the verdict. Is I'm not managing my time. Effect. I need. I need the assassin snail to kill all the snails in one of the tanks, but I can um, put it in a different tank. I don't know. I've got assassin snails in, like, this snail pile right now. There's assassin snails in that tank. I don't know where they're at. Is that 74 tabs? How many tabs was that? Did we do the math? I have 75 tabs open right now. And before that, I had one more. Ooh, all right. Well, I don't really have anything else to say. Um, reminder that, yeah, I'm auctioning off this one. And, all right, what was the other thing? That it, I set this up on March 12th. Let me double check. Yeah, I was 26. Today's episode, what, 30? 31? So March 12th, with some hiccups. It's going to be 39 days when it gets auctioned off. Hey, Keith. Oh, is, yeah. Speaking of, you're, you're going to be auctioning off some uh, CPDs, aren't you, Keith? That's what I heard. How many times can I say somebody's name in a sentence? But yeah, that's going to be right around 40 days that I've been growing the plants out on. And um, yeah, that seems, I don't know, I feel like that's pretty solid. I feel like the plants have grown in pretty well for that time as far as an experiment goes. Um, Keith, do you have any advice for shipping um, plant with driftwood? Oh, like the lemon ones? Okay. Thanks, man. I'll make sure to buy wet naps in bulk. Wrap it in the bag so it don't get jostled around.
at the box with packing peanuts. Been saving up my uh, bubble wrap too. 13 hours a day, nights. That's, uh, mine's like seven hours a day, uh, which is while I'm at work for the most part, but said five something because I've been down. Paper towels are bad in your opinion with plants. Yeah, I've seen mixed opinions on that. Like it kind of depends on how fast the plants are going to ship to. Well, it's 12. I'm giving you more than my hour. I'm tired and I got to eat something. And then I have work later and I got to leave for work in less than an hour. So I'm going to, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it an end. Hope you guys had a good one. Um, I hope that fulfilled your bingo needs. Uh, now's your last chance to uh like scroll back in the stream and, and click your bingo cards of like unboxing and coughed and said cichlid resbora algae danio guppy madaka rice fish uh yada yada um you know whatever whatever bingo things it is that you need i hope they worked out for you and I'm going to call it. Have a wonderful day, gang. I will see you in the tubes.